I've transposed it to the key of C to make it easier to play on the ukulele because we want to make use of the open strings. However, the original key's in D, so if you want to put a capo on your second fret and do it that way, then that would be absolutely fine as well. The main technique I'm showing you today is picking out the tune with your thumb on the ukulele using the bottom two strings. And of course, it will always sound better with a low G. Now, as I play, I'm going to put some tabs along the bottom of the screen for you to follow on. And if you want to download that tabs, I'll put a link at the end of the video for you. If you're interested in the backing track, I will also make that available for download with a link at the end of this video. So here goes, let's first of all do the intro part, which is without any backing at all, it's what brings the song in, and that goes like this. So it's all on the bottom two strings, the third and the fourth string, we're using a lot of open strings as well. You can see from the tab below how my finger positions are, you just have to work on the speed because the actual speed of the riff on the record is quite quick. So. It's the second part then, the band comes in on the C and we're playing. Again, just using the third and the fourth string. Again, I'll put the tab below for you to follow. Then the next part goes like this. So in that part, slightly different, we actually move on to the second string as they move on to the G quarter. And then the next part is slightly different because the band moves to the A minor chord. So we go from the A. And the very last part is the simplest one. And to round it off, you can go back to the intro riff. I don't care if Monday's blue. And so on. Chords to the song, fairly simple. C, F. C, G, A minor, F, C, G. Let's put it all together for you. So just to recap then, we've got the intro that sits on its own before the band comes in, we've then followed by those four parts and then you reintroduce the intro again before the vocal starts and you'll find that that melody part that I've shown you at the beginning also comes in part way through the song and, and towards the end of the song. The chord's fairly basic, it's a great tune to play actually on ukulele and with a band, so you know, really enjoy that. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, thought you got something out of that, I'd really, really appreciate if you could like my video down below. Even better if you could subscribe, that would be great. And in the meantime, enjoy the ukulele.